Okay, we're going to start this again. I've tried to record this once before and the camera went goofy on me. Anyway, I just want to tell you my method of truing up the head and the block on the Model A. This is the head that I, <coughs> I worked on. Uh, first off, what you need is a piece of nice tempered glass. This piece here was a I got out of an entertainment center. They're, they're usually tempered glass for safety reasons. Take some double stick tape, tapes, tape some sandpaper to the glass, uh, whatever grit you want to start with. If, it, if you're a long ways off, you're going to probably want to start with like a, a 80 grit. Uh, take a straight edge, check your head, straight across, angle, here, here. Stick a feeler gauge underneath, find out where the low spots are, or they'd actually be the high spots if the head was left over. But anyway, uh, you, you slip a feeler gauge under there. This one was about three to four thousandths, especially right in the center, right in here. Uh, it uh, it needed work, and then and when I checked the block, it was about three. So we had somewhere around six thousandths of an inch. You couldn't keep a head gasket in it. So it needed to be proved. So you take your head, you set it on the sandpaper, and we'll make, of course, take some, some tape, put a strip of tape along one side across the one end to hold it nicely to the table saw top. And of course, this is a machined table saw, not some piece of crap, tin junk. This is going to be a good machine job. And then you just take and slide that head back and forth along that sandpaper. Uh, you can put some pressure on it, flip it in for end. Maybe hold on, a, if you have a little more paper, you can go on a diagonal, this way, this way. So you get good cutting action on your paper. And when you get, after several hours typically, that's going to take to get this to this point, you might want to change your paper out once or twice. Uh, I, I've been successful in peeling the paper off and just using the same tape. Make sure that paper is flat, no wrinkles in it, 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 it destroy your job. All right, so from there, you uh, tape sandpaper to the head. Put the double stick tape right across your head. Put your paper on there, make sure there's no wrinkles in it, laying flat. Pull the valves out of your head, and then on a Model A, you're going to have to take your, your uh, uh, throttle linkage off the back so that you can have some, some motion on your head and, uh, and go from there. You set the head on top of the block and sand it. The same way you did this, back and forth, sideways, until finally you get your block where it's true. To make certain that it's true, after you think you've got it, you take some, some plastic gauge, cut some little pieces, place it in strategic places on your head, uh, put a, three or four studs back in, and uh, just lightly bolt the head down. Have, there's no gasket to squish or anything, just set it down snug up the bolts a little bit, pull the head off, and see what your plastic gauge is reading. Uh, I got this one down to from zero to one, one and a half thou is what I was measuring, uh, which is good. That, that's within tolerance. So anyway, that's, uh, that's how I do it. Works good. Uh, my Model A, I put, put a, a new uh, 5.1 head, head from uh, Snyder's on it. Runs fantastic. You can idle that thing down hits every hit perfectly. Compression is back up. It's important that you set your valves, that you grind the, the stems of your valves to 15 thou is what they recommend, uh, which takes a little work. Uh, they, they show putting the guides back in every time you check. You really don't have to do that. You set your valve into, into the block and get it trued up with the lifter and measure. That, that's that ends up being perfect, works great. After your guides and everything in, I checked it again. I had my 15,000s on all my valves. 
and they shined up real nice. I, I did put two new valves in mine. The front and back ones were actually had negative clearance. They weren't even closing. They were probably one to two thou uh, tight. And so it was uh, no wonder I was having trouble. So anyway, that's that. Uh, what I recommend too, if you're not putting hardened seats in, which some people don't recommend doing that unless you absolutely have to, put a little bit of ATF or two cycle oil in your gas, maybe a, a half a cup or a quarter of a cup of oil per tank of fuel. It, it helps to pad those valves on that, that cast iron surface. Uh, there's no lead in it. And uh, mind you, this, these engines were, were on the road before lead was in fuel, but they, they're still, they're not a hard seat. And uh, it's uh, good to pad the valves a little bit with some, with some uh, ATF or some two cycle oil. Uh, I learned that from the old guy that ran the auto wreckers here. He showed me a, a 300 Ford head, an old carbureted head from the early, earlier years of the 300. And one of those valves was actually sunk right down into the head, like about three eighths of an inch. Uh, so that's what can happen if you don't pad the valves on these, these engines. Mind you, they probably had stronger springs on that 300 than this flatty four does. Anyway, if that uh, is helpful to you, uh, uh, share it with your friends, like, subscribe to my channel. I try to post useful things on it, things that work for me anyway. Anyway, we'll see you in uh, my next video. Take care.